we have started from the statement of first law of thermodynamics which is given for a cycle and from there we can write the statement of thermodynamics or we can have some sort of some sort of mathematical expression what will happen only when when only a process is there. Now we are getting the statement of thermodynamics or mathematical expression of thermodynamics for a process. We have started from a cycle, now we are getting the mathematical expression for a process. So, this is for process. Now, <coughs> we like to look little bit in detail what is this quantity d e. So, let us write down once again d q minus d w is equal to d e. Obviously, these are differential quantities. If it is a finite process, we can integrate it and if we integrate it, it will be like this. Let us say we are integrated grating it from point or state 1 to state 2. So, this is d q minus did e and if we remove the integration sign or if we do the integration we will have q 1 to 2 minus w 1 to 2 that is equal to e 2 minus e 1. This is again important to note that I have written, written the heat transfer and work transfer in such a manner so that it indicates that it depends on the path or the process 1, 2. Whereas, the change in energy that has been written in such a manner that it depends only on end states 1 and 2. So, this of course, we will remember while we will study further the other topics of thermodynamics. <coughs> now, <coughs> this d e where e is energy in stored form so we can have different forms of stored energy like e can be kinetic energy plus potential energy plus let us say in some application electrical energy is important, let us say magnetic energy is important, let us say due to surface tension there is some amount of energy, let us say surface energy plus there can be many other form which can remain in stored form inside the system. So, what other forms are important or which is the most important form for our discussion, let us try to understand it with the help of a simple example. Let us say this example or this type of application we will consider very frequently in future. Let us say we have taken a compressible fluid as the substance inside a piston cylinder arrangement. Let us say the movement of the piston is restricted with the help of a stopper like this and initially it is cold, it is at cold state, then we apply certain amount of heat to this substance. Then after certain time we remove the source of heat and of course, to assess the change of state we have got some measuring instrument. Let us say we have got a thermometer here. So, we know it was initially at one state, let us say initial state 
is denoted by 1 which is given by the temperature T 1 and after heating we are getting the final state which is given by the temperature T 2. So, the system has undergone a process and we can apply first law of thermodynamics. We can write down the mathematical ex expression for first law of thermodynamics which we have derived for a process. So, what it will be? <coughs> Q 1 to 2 minus W 1 to 2 that is equal to E 2 minus E 1. This we can write. Let us say somehow we know that what amount of heat has been supplied to this system. It is not very difficult. Let us say we have got electrical heating and we know how much electrical energy has been supplied during the process. So, this is a known quantity. This is a known quantity. What about our work transfer as the movement of the piston is restricted. So, there is no work done by the system during the process. So, this is equal to 0. So, we have supplied certain finite amount of heat and then we can see there will be certain finite amount of change of stored energy of the system for the process 1 to 2 or between the state points 1 to 2. 